we're back for part two of the Sinking City. Um, <clears throat> basically, if you haven't watched part one, then I would advise you to go do so. But basically, what happened to or the whole gist of the game is we're a private investigator and we're having visions. So we're sent to this town called Oakmont to investigate the visions and something weird is going on in this town. If you didn't watch part one, I'm not going to spoil what happened in part one. Just go back and watch it. But, alright, let's get into it. Um, and I said in part one, I didn't think I was going to change my outfit if I... Because I... I'm just digging, you know, I'm digging the backpack look. So, what about the, the gangster? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Okay. All right, so, let's see. Never again, they say. Never again, they say. Alright, uh, I think we already looked at everything in here, so let's just, let's just leave. Can I go in all these? The nightmares. <clears throat> I boarded up the windows and locked the door. They are just men, the Yellow King gang. They can't get me here now. There's only me, me and these nightmares a little longer, and I'll figure them out. So I'm assuming everyone else in town, or in the city, or whatever... Is having these nightmares, Mr. Archer. I've seen you dragging things into your room, on the floors. I'll make you pay for any scratches you leave. Your landlord. Huh. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. There's no. So I'm gonna go downstairs first. I wanna. I wanna try to continue the story as much as possible. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you though, Mister. You wanna stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Uh, what noise? noise? What, what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Mm, I, uh, I agree with you. Yeah, <clears throat> sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well... Next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting a kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. Oh, and again, for people in chat, this is more for a YouTube gameplay. I just kind of have to stream it to be able to get the camera in for YouTube, so I'm sorry for anyone in chat that is wanting to talk. Um, I will be glancing at it. But, uh, oh, Josh, what's up? Oh, man, Josh, thanks for the subscription, dude. That means a lot. Thanks, man. Gosh, Josh, Josh is a legend. I'm uh, watching you, newcomer. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, Okay, wait, where was I? I talk to you? No, you look like an investigator too. But I'm just... I'm just a better investigator. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here. Wait, wait, can I read this note? <clears throat> Notes. Note about the hobo signs. Darren, I think I'm finally starting to figure this out. Locals use signs to mark special places that you know already. Kind of like the secret signs hobos use all over the country. Uh, mm, no, that's all a bunch of nothing. Alright, let's get out of here. So, let's see. So, we're doing. Uh, so, I need to go to the northern cover side at the crossroad of Asher Road and. 
so that is uh wait what where was it again it was okay so northern cover side at the crossroad of Asher Road so northern cover side at the crossroad of Asher Road Northern cover side. So here's cover side. Up, oh, nope, wrong thing. Cover side, Asher Road, and Hubert Drive. Where's that? Asher Road. It's like right here. Right. Yeah. No, not danger. It just, you know. Okay. So that's where we're going. So let's see. I guess we're gonna have to. I guess you take boats because it seems like some of the map is like blocked off. I guess we want to take this boat there. So let's see. So this was the way. The map takes forever to load. So I apologize for that. Um, no, I am going the wrong way. I can turn around. Oh my effing god, I can't, I can't drive a boat to save my life. Of course! This is terrible. Alright, let's go. So I'm just gonna stop right here. Wait, is this literally where I was? No, it wasn't where I was, but I was stuck on something. Alright, let's go. That doesn't seem to be safe. Whatever, let's just go. Can I fucking... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'll have to go back this way. Maybe if I take this road. I see you being arrested. Oh my god. What the f was that? Yeah, you suck. Ah! Is he gonna shoot me? No, no, no. Whatever. That's what you get, though. So, was it? Yeah, I just need to take this road. Go up. Hey, handsome. Wanna have some fun? Oh, you're a skit. No. So I think it's this way and then it's to the right. If I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. It's not this building, is it? Oh yeah it is. It's like right here. So like I wanna I want to before I go in I'm gonna craft some bullets. Let's see, how many bullets does that give me? Okay, give me one bullet. So I have one bullet. Alright, so then I have four and this. Okay, what is this? Is this a brick? Okay, I have a brick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. I don't exactly know what to expect. In here. Okay. Alright. Guess I don't need the key. Nope, I don't need the key. Someone's been in here. Dangers of divers. Drivers with the bins can suffer from numerous symptoms, including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Acute systems can occur within 10 minutes of surfacing and include paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, or words coming out all weird. The paralysis and numbers can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. <clears throat> so that sounds a lot like a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition. So someone came in here and wrecked the place. Someone else is in here searching for something. So oh is that money? Oh no. I don't know what that is. Gunpowder. Okay, so there's more gunpowder. So I'm gonna go ahead and <coughs> craft more bullets. 
I don't have any shell casings. <coughs> I want to craft. Mm. Okay. Um. So let's see. Guess we'll go upstairs. What's that noise? What's these samples? Glitter in a weird way. I don't know where they came from. <clears throat> fisherman reports. L. Sullivan and B. Morgan. Local fishermen report, report, report numerous large bubbles and an unbearable stench rising from the bottom of the sea. Bought a sample of a weird substance floating in the ocean from Jay Harway. He claims he found it among numerous dead and strangely deformed fish. The fish were taken for analysis. Several local mentions of rock that rose from the seabed, making the fog shine in different colors. The witnesses felt sick and dizzy for two or three days after the incident. L.P. Stern got severed burns after chiseling off a part of the rock in his basement. Sample taken for analysis. Okay. Well, <laughs> got powder. What did that give me? I didn't even think that gave me anything. It's a bunch of eels. Yeah, it's a bunch of eels. <clears throat> How to protect. According to our data, the places with paranormal activity have a strong previously unidentified influence on the human mind. We've prepared a list of solutions, included, including meditative practices and a supply of sedatives. To prevent cases of madness among the expedition members, I highly recommend discarding all those charms, amulets, and religious symbols which are of no use in applying these scientifically valid methods of protection instead. <clears throat> H-Dope. saw another shell like it. Oh, whatever. That other one looks just like that shell. Is that like the same thing? So, okay. So. Gunpowder. And I found another pistol around. I'm going to go ahead and reload this. So, I, there was a stairway here, right? To the downstairs? Or was I making that up in my mind? Huh. Maybe I was making that up. I don't know. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna walk in here with the mind, you know, so I can. Maybe there's something here. Guess I don't need the key. Uh, guess I don't. Need... Yep, it's this way. <clears throat> All right then. Guess I can open portals with my mind. Partially burned cargo manifest. The following must be delivered Grimhaven Bay no later than Friday. Diving suits, air tanks, canned foods, personal belongings, research equipment, air pumps, phone station, and wires, power generator. So I have a new mine palace. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what else is down here. Ah, what the, what the, f ah, ah, stop, 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 stop shooting me. What the, f what the, f is this, is this that one, is this, is that that Lewis, what the f is your problem? Dickhead. Bruh. What the? I didn't do anything. Well, now you know what. Okay, never mind. I kind of gave him up to the police. <laughs> My bad. My bad. I forgot about that. So let's see. So I just killed a man. So why was he? Why was he down here? What? Okay, so there's a mine thing here. <clears throat> I'm assuming this is... We don't have time to pick it! Stand back! 
Okay, that's that's the Lewis. Drop the papers. Smash the rest. He was okay. So I turned him in because I said that he had clear motives because of the whole rivalry thing that they were having. So I guess he really actually was, you know. I fatah me a fe I dagon. He's talking the exact same way Albert was when he murdered him. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. Okay, well. This is one, obviously. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Drop the papers. Smash the rest. So I guess they're carrying it down I here so they can burn it. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. The expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay. There might be a recent posting or ads about the freight in the Oakmont Chronicle. Hang on. <clears throat> so wait. Okay. So that happened. Wait, why does my screen look like that? I still need to be in this mode. Wait, did I? So I got the key evidence. So I need to go to the Oakmont Chronicle. Okay. City Hall. Oh, the Chronicle is right here. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, sorry, Lewis, because you actually were being mind-controlled and I killed you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think this light is too bright. I'll turn it off. Yeah. yeah. It's not as bad, but I said that light was making it too bright. I go this way and then head to the left. I don't know how to fast travel. Trying to figure that out before, sh before I started streaming. And I just couldn't figure it out. Okay. Let's go figure this out. So let's see. The Oakmont Chronicle. The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Yeah, I <clears throat> guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers. Uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss. Oh Blatt. my God! Of course you will. <coughs> ah, whatever. You still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now. If you're ready. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but. 
tell our reader something more about yourself. No. Uh, I'm an investigator I'm a from private Boston. Eye in Boston. The situation <laughs> in the port was a good use of my skills. Well, uh, Detective Reed, I I think you'll find our city has a lot of secrets, uh, but people may not like you poking your nose in. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Uh... Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the Flood. Though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I can't give the reader. My pleasure. Oh, I since skipped it. Maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. Yeah, like solving this whole freaking flood case. Get out of my face. We'll do an interview later. Yeah. Archives contain topical information, for example, City Hall holds general data. In the case with evidence, may hint in the archives. Select the piece of evidence you wish to then choose three criteria to search for. Whatever. Fine. the flood mm. journalist and he's in Boston so a freighter so I'll go district so I'll go to Grimhaven Grimhaven Bay okay so, current events maybe <laughs> Articles and interviews? Not advertisements, front page. No. People. Journalist. Well, I took that off. Journalist. So maybe it's not after the flood. Section. Current events. Huh. Huh. Um, don't know. Nice. So I think it honestly would be after the flood. So after the flood advertisements and go. <clears throat> well, now I need the light on. Jeez. Okay. The 30 ton ship Titania is currently available for hire. You will find it fully equipped for transport as well as the adding of underwater ventures and explorations. The piece, the price of 70 rifle bullets or the equivalent of three of per week. Those interested are urged to contact Captain Jeremiah Sanders for contracting details. He can be found at Pier 3, Oakmont Port, Grim Haven Bay. So, <clears throat> I guess that's where we're going. Going to Grim Haven Bay. Because, uh, let's see, so Pier 3, okay, is... That's Oakmont City. So here's Grimhaven Bay. So they're like, you know. Okay, here's Pier 3. So. Uh, there. Okay, that's where we're going. Can I fast travel to anywhere near there? I could fast travel here, but I don't know how to fast travel is the thing. I'll take that off. Okay, whatever. I guess we're just gonna have to go. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. No. 
There's so much going on in this game. There's so much. You a private investigator too? You got a backpack, so you must be. Us backpack people need to stick together. <clears throat> now I'll take the boat all the way down to here. Oh no, that's too far for me to keep up with. Close over there. Swim, swim faster. Screen turn red for. Right, doesn't matter. Oh, part of this hasn't loaded in yet, so let's see. I'm gonna take a left here. Is it? Oh, that's a freaking steep left, isn't it? Can I take the... Oh yeah, this, this I think it's a left of here as well. No. <clears throat> and then... Right here? Should be. I think. So now we're going to Pier 3 to figure out, you know, his attacks or what happened to the freighter, I assume. So, are you a private investigator? What's up with everyone looking like a private investigator? Why does everyone look like me? this way hey this is the start of the game this is where I passed out that one dude carried me all the way to the Devil Reefs Hotel what a nice guy okay was this Pier 3 or just Pier 2 it's Pier 2 let me go this way Man, there's so much Yeah, hey, this is the, uh, this is where I sold out Lewis. I think that's Pier 3. No, that's Pier 2. Okay, this is Pier 3. stand up to them. Please help me. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? Uh, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. I guess I'm about to buy it, so I'm gonna go make some bullets. Like case book. Okay. Do I have any more skill points? No. No, I don't. Or knowledge points. Uh, let's see, go to inventory, and then. Okay, can I build any more? No. <coughs> Where are we looking? Harbor has been cleared. Okay. 
I'm gonna talk back to him again. I've dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. What happened on the Titania? It was horrible. A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. Sailors bleeding, dying. Blood hit the water, and then, well, then the wild beasts came to feast. Wild beast. <clears throat> I gotta Where's find Sanders. Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh, did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made him back. Okay. This is a new Mon Palace thing. <laughs> he fled. I mean, don't tell me anything. I don't. Oh, a gun. Can I take it? They emptied every chamber. <clears throat> oh, still stinks of burnt powder. Shot dead. Point blank. Assassins. Ooh. So wait. Okay. I need to use that vision. To let my sanity get back up though. Gotta be out of your head to oh do this to a man. Oh god. I took my sanity. What the fuck is that? What are these creatures? I mean, this is terrible. I'd hate to live here. It's good. That's just a I feel like that lighthouse is going to be significant in the end. I just want to see if, like, gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. No. Maybe on here. Yeah. Captain Jeremiah Sanders here by agree to take on board my vessel Titania. Any persons designated by Rock Throngmorton and the cargo detailed in the attached manifest, as well as to provide them with any and all necessary assistance up to and including death measurements, as well as diving support for underwater exploration and marine life observations. Affirmation services will take place in confidential locations in Cod Bay. Afterwards, Titania will provide transport for all the passenger. Conversation will be 70 bullets. Cape Cod. The remarks here, but they've been erased. Hmm. They were in high spirits, and plenty of them were drinking. So they're drinking. Uh, okay. They're like, they were in high spirits. There has plenty to be. Plenty of them were drinking. Has to be something more than what I'm seeing. Oh, yep, there it is, too. So let's see. Okay, you're definitely not first. I don't think anyone pulled out the double axes first. No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rock. Yes, it's one. Nonsense. To the mayor with you. Ugh. Die. Die. Oh god, he's throwing people overboard. Ah, you can't take me! Eat this! Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Ah, you can't take me! Eat this! I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that this is one. No more drink. 
All we've seen. Uh, this is too. And you telling me we ain't allowed rock to the mayor with you? Might be uh, reverse uh, three and uh, two. Like, uh, I think two might be three. You can't but I don't take know. me. <clears throat> I can't exactly For tell. For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away. Yep. Let's go to the mine palace. The harbor master saw Captain Sanders leaving the pier. The only survivor of the fight on the third pier of Grimham Bay was a man badly wounded in the shoulder. Captain Sanders is now a wounded man, is now seeking medical aid. So, with my detective brain, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the hospital. I remember seeing it right there. Yep, that's where he is. Let's see. So we gotta go. <coughs> Okay, bye. Good luck with all the willowbees. Even though I killed them, but they'll probably come back. Mm. So if I take this, if I take this road, and then yeah, take this road and go here, right there. Oh my God, that's such a mother. That's such a hassle. And in reality, this map is actually really big. Like, they honestly went all out for this game, and it's pretty damn impressive. If I do say so myself. <clears throat> Was it this way? Yeah. So. God, do I really have to? <clears throat> I hope I can just swim to my boat. <clears throat> Maybe there'll be another boat here. Ah, yes, there's another boat here. Thank God. I don't have to freaking. <clears throat> so, let's see. Uh... Let's take a right, first left. Second left, first right, right, left, uh, two lefts, right, right, left. I'm not going to remember that at all. I have a terrible memory when it comes to maps. Oh man, if I got that perfectly right, let's go! Come on. Let's go. Perfectly right. <clears throat> Yeah, whatever. I'll mess you up, old dude. Get out of my face. I open this. First aid kit. Really hope I don't need more bullets because I don't have enough stuff to make bullets. So, Hospital of St. Mary. Let's go. So, I'm curious. Patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? The usual. Nothing to write home about. 
Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Y your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. Sounds serious. Hmm. <laughs> that guy always sounds like such a douchebag. He just doesn't want to listen. He always sounds so tired. Uh, no. Uh, sure, let's Experimental try. Experimental medicine. Well, I guess it can't be any worse than the asylum in Boston. Count me in. Uh, I'm delighted to hear that, Mr. Uh, uh, Reed. Charles Reed. Mr. Reed, take these pills with some water. They're a potent measure against parasites. Contact me when you feel improvement. Are you kidding me? You suck. What the hell did you give me, Doc? Is something wrong? You seem perfectly healthy to me. Your medicine blinded me and then he gave me these visions worse than a blow to the head what are you <clears throat> trying to pull intriguing these side effects are a new development i'll have to run some more tests let me know if anything else happens won't you i'm looking for a man just checked in uh, cut up pretty bad i've got a trauma unit full of patients like that sir Okay, listen, first of all, you're not gonna give okay, me the poison uh, pill and then be a douchebag to uh, me. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Bye. Bye. Dick, you suck. You know what? <laughs> get an asshole. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Patience. After the flood. <clears throat> Peter Crowley. Oak launcher, multiple burns and fragmentation wounds to the chest and face as a result of explosion, several surgeries, wound treatment, facial surgery, prognosis, good bed, recommended. Deep wound, delicious, broken. What the? That's not at all what I'm looking for. I don't think. Is it? Is that what I'm looking for? Upstairs first. I think there will be people upstairs that I can talk to. Maybe that'll be where he is. <clears throat> what happened to you, Mister? Pete, explosion, fishing with dynamite. It hurts talking. I'm sorry. Well, get better soon. Bye. So okay. So wait, I need to find So I need to find Peter Crowley. Oh, not that. So let's see. So who was So I need to find Peter. Can I talk to you? Oh. oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again. No, sir. It's probably not the best idea, so. You know, good on you. Don't eat leeches. Showcases, but 
Let me reload. I'm gonna go ahead and take me a med kit real quick. Oh, let's just wanna go upstairs. Um uh, let me talk to you. Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Uh, some psycho in a bar brawl. Gun came out, he clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. Y you should probably look somewhere else. <sighs> That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions. Best now. detective. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Oh. Charles Reed. Oh, well, I guess I have to. <laughs> so I All right, wants then. to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Yeah. If they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. Mmm... What were you looking for underwater? Uh, the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really? We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. I've got a good banish. reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters. Mark my words. Hmm. Tell yeah, me what turn out the final the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert, but all were half mad with fear. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No. No. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm going to. I'm Don't tell me what to do. Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. Oop, not me. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, I you will never follow them. F the dark up. Equipment. Uh, I want the ship. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Okay. Do you know where I can get a good diving <clears throat> suit? My men got theirs from a local factory. 
If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Bah. Alright, so I'm going down to the surgery room. Okay. So I got all this figured out. I got so much information. So let's see. So Casebook lost its seed. Sanderson made a fresh stomach suits from the factory, which is okay. Okay, so there's the diving suit. So I need to go down to the ship's log, or find the ship's log in the basement. There's the surgery. No. Okay. Okay. One of these. And this just takes me back out to here. So wait a minute. Oh. <coughs> Ship's log. Accident place. Crew complaining of strange of noises and no sleep. Fish behaving strangely. March 22nd reached the crew reporting hallucinations. March 23rd distributed rum. Hopefully it will distract them. March 23rd found an air pocket in the caverns near the devil's teeth close to the city. Scientists discovered walls, ancient walls. Asked for crates with tools. Sent Tate and Myers down to investigate after surfacing deadline passed. Tate and Myers returned with only. Albert Throgmorton, who is now completely unhinged, his madness is serving unsettling. The crew dragged Albert to a lifeboat, tried to stop them, resulting in mutiny. So they're basically like, you know, throwing Albert over or something. Okay, so now I have all the evidence. Cool. So, okay. So, I'm gonna get outside. No, wait, no, it's this way. Oh. No, it's not this way. I guess I went up too many flights of stairs. Okay. So. I am going to end this episode here. So, next time, in the next episode, we will be um, going to Devil's Teeth. We, I guess we'll be underwater trying to figure out what's caused them to go mad. So you definitely don't want to miss that. So until next time, guys.